In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to download and install shaders for Minecraft 1.19.2. As you can see, even though Minecraft 1.19.2 just released, we already have a tutorial on how to add shaders to it. Make sure you watch this video through because I'm going to show you how to fix some common problems that you might find while installing shaders on Minecraft 1.19.2. So let's get started. And just before we get started with the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to download and install shaders for Minecraft 1.19.2, let me tell you real quick about Minecraft Apex Hosting. If you need a Minecraft server, you don't have to look any further because Apex Hosting got you. Besides all the great advantages that they they have like providing you with protection to your server, giving you the options to create Java, Bedrock, modded, non-modded with Forge, Fabric, any type of plugins or mods that you need, you could do with Apex Hosting. Right now, Apex Hosting is offering 25% off. You click on the first link in the description, you can sign up right now with 25% off, which I think is amazing. I run my own Bedrock server with Apex Hosting, and the amazing thing that I found is that you could actually access a server console through your phone, and you can mess with your server settings through your phone, you could troll your friends and do amazing things, even if you're away from your computer. So yeah, first link in the description. Apex hosting 25% off your first Minecraft server. Now let's get started. Okay, Minecraft 1.19.2 just came out and Optifine hasn't been updated. And when Optifine is not updated, my other favorite way to add shaders is using Iris. So how do you download and install Iris? Go ahead and click on the second link in the description, which will bring you to our written guide, of course, on how to download and install Iris. And here you could go through a screenshot, you could look at the text. But the main thing here though is to click this button that says download Iris here. Go ahead and click on that button. That is going to redirect you to this website. Once you're over here, go ahead and click where it says download now. And that is going to redirect you over here where you're going to click download universal jar once you click in there the download will start automatically in my case it's asking me why i want to save it but for you it's just going to start downloading go ahead and click on save well if you have that option enable and then you're gonna have the iris installer now we have a jar file to install iris but we don't have any shaders yet so that's what we're going to do next we're going to go ahead and download shaders in this case i'm going to be using complementary shaders if you want to follow along and use the same shaders i'm using go ahead and click on the third link in the description again this is our written guide on how to download complementary if you want to read through it and look at the screenshots, feel free to do so. But the main thing here, once you're over here, scroll down until you find download complementary. Go ahead and click on it. That is going to redirect you over here, where you're going to scroll down and you're going to look for the most recent version of the shaders. As of right now, they only have 1.19.1, but it is compatible with 1.19.2. So we're going to be using this one. But chances are, when you come over here, they already have 1.19.2, and you could download those because those are going to be safer, right? So go ahead and click on download file, and that is going to start the download. Well, it's actually going to redirect over here where in five seconds the download will start automatically do not click anything just wait five seconds and as you can see the download starts once the download has finished you will get a zip file go ahead and drop that into the desktop it's okay that you have a zip file you don't have to unzip it so you don't need any winrar or anything like that just go ahead and drop the zip file into the desktop okay so now we have iris the installer and we have the shaders what's next well now we need to update java and here is why any minecraft above 1.16.5 will require you to have the newest version available of java and most computers with windows 10 come with java 8 so how do we check our Java version to know if we need to update it? Go ahead and click where it says type here to search, type out of remote programs, go ahead and open it. And then in here, you're going to click where it says search this list. Go ahead and click right here and type Java. As you can see, I have Java 18. That is because I already updated my Java in my computer, but chances are you either have Java 8, Java 7, or maybe not even a Java at all. And probably some of you will have Java 17, which I believe Java 17 works. You don't need to change your version if you already have 17. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete my Java to show you guys how to update it or install it from scratch as you can see i went ahead and got rid of my java now i don't have any java how do you get the newest java well that's super simple go ahead and click on the fourth link in the description which is our written guide on how to download and install java in here you could install java 18th or 17th we have a screenshots and everything on how to do that but i'm going to show you here real quick go ahead and click on where it says download java here that's going to redirect over here where you're going to scroll down and select the java that you will be installing you can install java 18th or java 17th i know java 17th is probably more universal and most mods will work with java 17th but some newer mods will require you to have Java 18. So yeah, you have to find the balance and see which one works for you. Now in this tutorial, I'm pretty sure we could use any of them because they will probably both work, but I'm going to go with Java 18 because I'm sure that Java 18 works. So go ahead and select the one that you want, click Windows, and then find the x64 installer and click on download or call this little link in here, which is going to start the download automatically. In my case, it's asking me, but for you, it's probably going to download automatically. Once you have the installer for Java, go ahead and drop that into the desktop. Let's go ahead and drop that into the desktop. And now let's minimize our browser. Now let's start by installing Java first. Go ahead and double click the file that we just downloaded, the JDK installer. Once you double click on that, you're going to get an administrator sign. Go ahead and allow it to run. And then in here, you're going to click next and then click next. This is a requirement for installing any modern Minecraft above 1.16.5, at least for the Java edition. 
I'm sorry, that's that's just the way it is. Before, before 1.16.5, you didn't need to update Java, but now you do. Anyways, once Java has been updated or installed, go ahead and click on close, and you can now even delete the installer. You could delete it. There we go. We don't have it anymore. Now it's time to install the Iris installer. Now, before we start with that, I know some of you will say that you don't see this little file in here that the jar file that is supposed to happen, that is supposed to show right here. You see this little cup is not showing or that when you double click on it, instead of launching the installer, it launches Internet Explorer or it launches something else. Now, fixing that is a super, super simple thing. I'm going to show you real quick. If you want to fix this file in case it doesn't work for you and you have the same bad luck as I have most of the time, go ahead and click on the link in the description that says Jarfix, which is a Jarfix guide that we have on how to run a Jarfix. Now, running a Jarfix is like less than a minute. You just come over here, click on download Jarfix here, then click on this little blue link that appears right here called Jarfix.exe. Once you click in there, the download will start for Jarfix. You can drop Jarfix into your desktop and that's it. You can now run the Jarfix by double clicking on it. Go ahead and double click on Jarfix and you're going to get an administrator sign, allow it to run, and then you're going to get this little sign in here saying that you already updated your jar files in your computer and that's it. You, you fix your jar files, you now have run a Jarfix and now your jar files have been linked with the newest Java that you install because let's say that you had Java 8. Well, what happens is that your jar files are set to Java 8 and when you install Java 18, most of the time it updates automatically, but sometimes you need to run the Jarfix to fix it. Anyways, by this point, I assume that most of us have it fixed. Let's start. Now go ahead and double click on Iris installer. Make sure that you already run Minecraft 1.19.2 at least once on your computer. You always want to run the vanilla version of Minecraft before you install the modded version. So in this case, we're installing 1.19.2 shaders. Go ahead and run vanilla regular Minecraft 1.19.2 at least once. Go ahead and close it and then close out from the launcher. You want to make sure that the Minecraft launcher is closed before installing the shaders. Once you're over here, just select Iris and Sodium, select the version that you're installing it for, and then click install. That's it. That's all you have to do. It should be a pretty fast process. As you can see right here, it's done. It says installation succeeded. Go ahead and close this and you can even delete the installer now. Now it's time to launch the Minecraft launcher. Go ahead and type and open your Minecraft launcher. And once you're here, if you install Iris and Sodium successfully, you should see it down here in the bottom left automatically selected. As you can see, it says 1.19.2. That means that it installed successfully. In case you don't see it there, go ahead and click where it says installations. Make sure that modded is selected. If it still doesn't work for you, click where it says new installations and look for it here in the versions. As you can see, we have it right here. Iris Fabric Loader 1.19.2. You can name this whatever you want and then click create here in the bottom right and that will create an instance of iris in case nothing else worked for you anyways once we have iris installed go ahead and click where it says installations hover over iris as you can see right here this little folder will appear go ahead and click on that that is going to open a bigger folder that we're going to make smaller and minimize the browser or the launcher in the background and now in here in this folder we're going to look for another folder called shader packs go ahead and find shader packs as you can see right here a folder called shader packs appears now many of you won't even have that folder so what i'm going to do is actually delete mine and i'm going to create a new one and this is for the ones that don't have the shader packs folder already go ahead and right click click new folder and type shader packs there we go we created the folder ourselves in case you didn't have it go ahead and open it and then drag and drop the shaders that you selected if you're using complementary like me then go ahead and drop it in now we could close that folder and we need to launch our minecraft launcher using iris and sodium go ahead and click play on it it's going to prompt you with this little sign here saying that you understand the risk go ahead and click that you do and then click play once minecraft has opened go ahead and click raises options click on video settings and as you can see we have a different menu here this is not how regular minecraft look and we have an option called shader packs go ahead and click on it and we can see our shaders in here complementary shaders go ahead and select them go ahead and click on them and then click on apply if it's not letting you select it make sure that shaders are enabled because if they're disabled you're not going to have the option to select them so yeah make sure it's enabled then click on the shaders click apply it shouldn't take that long but sometimes depending on our graphics card it might take a little bit just give it some time don't click anything else and then once it's selected on yellow like that click done 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 and launch a world to test out the shaders well i had to take my camera off because since i'm recording my computer gets crazy and like it gets really really slow but you guys should have no issues because you're i'm assuming you're not recording and you don't have a camera connected and you don't have all these things open at the same time as me so yeah guys i hope this video was useful and that you were able to add shaders to minecraft 1.19.2 make sure you subscribe because as soon as optifying 1.19.2 comes out we're gonna have a video on that and yeah guys i hope this video helped you and as always bye bye